Hello again, uh, what I'm going to do today is show you how to fix a problem with Windows 10 that a lot of people have been experiencing lately. And basically what it is, is you'll not be able to do what I did then and actually right click on things to allow you to uh, either open new tabs, things like that and stuff like that. Um, now I am I am using a web page here that I found on the internet which is this one here. Um, but I've felt like some people needed a video to illustrate some points that are made in this web page just because it's sometimes easier for some people. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix Windows 10. First of all you need to navigate your way to Task Manager. To do this you press Control Alt Delete then you press Task Manager. Once you're in Task Manager, I'm not going to do that because it'll make the screen go black. Once you're in Task Manager you need to go File, Run New Task and then type in the word PowerShell into there. Once you type in PowerShell, click that box uh, there and check it to make sure that everything is running in Administrator. Um, and that'll basically mean that you can do administrative things. Uh, and then check OK. And then you want to uh, take the string that will be in the, uh, the script, or the string, or whatever you want to call it, that will be in the uh, description, and you want to press Control-V Control C and then Control V like that. This is going to get all your app packages, rebuild them, and do some stuff. That is really useful, and that's really going to fix it. If that doesn't fix it to begin with, wait about a minute or so, and it should download all the app packages. If that if that doesn't fix it all together, uh, once you once you've obviously done that, there press Enter um, and then exit that. Once you've done once you've done that, it doesn't fix it straight away. What I recommend you do, even if you even if you even if it is fixed, you want to navigate your way to uh, where is it? Ah, yeah. See users your your name in your uh, in your account. So obviously mine there is S. Uh, you want to then. So I'm going to go obviously for me. I can go like this. I can right click that. Uh, File Explorer. Pull this over from over here. File Explorer. Local disk C. Uh, users S. Now in my S folder, there's nothing in there at the moment because well, there is things in there obviously, but uh, there's not much there. And once you're in there, you want to go to either your name, which is this these guys here. Are very very good things. Uh, you want to go, but if it's not, it'll be in default migrated, and then your app data is there. Delete your app data folder. Once you've done that, wait about a minute. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, what I had to do is restart the entire PC. Once you've restarted the entire PC, you should find that your start menu is working. If this doesn't work for you, I'm sorry, this is how I fixed my problem. Again, uh, all credit to this guy on the Windows uh, community forums. Uh, this has worked for a few people. This person uh, has said that, you know, it's not working for him. However, if it if it's not, please 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 leave a comment, and I will uh, try and help you in any way I can. And I'm sure the YouTube community comments will try and help you. And if not, Google is your friend. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another fix or something else that has happened that I can try and fix. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.